The Celtics have won six consecutive. The Thunder have won four consecutive. Two of the top three teams in net rating. Boston is number one, plus 10.4. OKC number three. Lou Dorf from Arizona State gets it to Jeff Longford and now SGA averaging above 31 points for the second year in a row and he starts with a deuce. Hard play by Chet Holmgren there. He's over seven foot and you're six foot five and you turn around and take a shot over the top of you. You've got two true seven footers in Porzingis and Holmgren. Once again, the, the left by Porzingis around the basket. He's the equal to Chet in terms of how he's able to knock that shot down. How about knocking down that shot to the equal? I said, you know, Brian, there's all these, you know, we, we like to say uh, unicorns, the seven footer that can shoot the three and do all of the, you know, as Josh Giddy knocks down his second three. Three from Josh Giddy. First miss from downtown on the night. Holiday, sideline, he'll miss a three. And Shea comes down to rip away that rebound. And Shea comes down to rip away that rebound. Shea goes right by Holiday, got to the rim, puts it up with a lollipop layup and scores. Pretty off to a terrific start. Just causing trouble for the defense. Shea had made 27 consecutive free throws. You know, they, they're always spacing the floor because they got all five guys that can drive the basketball. Shea, no good. Shea dubs. Right on, Jalen Brown lets it spin into that fadeaway. Somehow slipped inside. Offensive rebound inside. Oh, he's done a great job of getting in there amongst the trees and making things happen. And Shea once again slicing right through that Boston defense. That is a matchup that he relishes. Peyton Pritchard, Oregon Duck from the outside, no good on the three. Quick shot, get the rebound, get out quickly in transition. Shea ships it cross court. That time, Lil Dort gets it to go. And once again, it's SGA finding him. In the ground, and Porzingis on the bench. Shea outside, Isaiah Joe lets it fly, and Isaiah Joe buries the three. Whole lot of experience right there. Wallace came down to help out in the rebounding. Holmgren's going to step into it on the reload three. And Wiggins will let SGA operate the offense. Stops on a dive, holds up, and that is so silky smooth and almost impossible to defend. Nice play coming out of the timeout. And there's a nice turnover on Jalen Brown. He can get really loose with the basketball. Jalen Brown, he can get really loose with the basketball. As SGA has returned. Derek White all over him, all kinds of contact and free throws coming up for SGA. Intentional he is on the defensive end this year. <laughs> Absolutely. And he's willing, I'm, I'm insulting any of the other players. It's just not required. And he does it. So we're looking behind him to make sure that he wasn't going to lose possession as Shea goes right around Brown, left hand. Nice finish. Another great drive from SGA. And starting to rack up those points off turnovers right now. 13 to 1. Porzingis off balance. Flails it up and it drops in. Set in the ring. Brown wants to shoot over the top of Homer. He's going to miss wide right. I've always said first one in the air will get the rebound. Shea, so oh, much spin, how did he spin into that left-handed flip? It's called, my goodness. He's had it going since the start, 17 points. Trying to defend Tatum, he's gonna be on the deck. And it's gonna be free throws for Jason Tatum. Something OKC is focusing on in this second half. Another focus is on moving Boston defensively with some ball movement and playing with pace to get those good looks like that, guys. Well, there's a good look from J-Dub and he Good players like him, you never discount him at all. You can give you buckets and waves. Shea can't add to his total. Really solid play. The Thunder catch a big break, but an offensive rebound. It's Brown from the corner. And a weak side rebound to SGA. Great with those misses. Very few defensive breakdowns. Oh, Shea wants a game. Too much speed. Goes right by Holiday again. Both teams shot it so well in the first half, Michael. You, you, you think these two teams are too good defensively. Shea got down low. Oh, it's Porzingis missed time to follow. Two on one. Giddy dumps it off. Shea's got the easy jam. 
Pull a Chet Holmgren coming over off that weak side to help out on that off the ball block. Fortunate to keep the basketball. Then we got to get the spacing right. Giddy's going to load up from deep. And he's got himself another three. As Aaron Wiggins coming into the game midway through this third quarter. Shea, a little misdirection. So easy. Drives his way up right to the cup. And Shea surveying. Trying to attack that retreating defense. Got it right back. White fell on the floor. Shea's going to put it back up and in. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Rotation. He's deadly. He's got that quick release like those pounds. And there is the response three on the other end. SGA. Officials to acknowledge their displeasure. The Shays with two free throws. On so many drives. Those kickouts often result in an open shooter. White back iron no good. Porzingis, turnaround shot. Not going to get the roll. Hauser was in the vicinity. He might have gotten the block, but forced him to miss a little close-in shot. There's Shea's shot. Right on that baseline, had the... Shea. Chalk Clark fades away from the block by Horford. Porter, the entire possession, ended up missing. A Shea went for the two for one, and just nails the three. It's left from the Celtics defense to down a 10-0 run. They're looking to slow it down. Holmgren, outside break, and he'll do it. They stung a little bit of that Celtics momentum. They're glad to take that turnover. Shea making his move on Tatum. He's going to get fouled. Puts up the shot and almost goes down. Tatum getting a little excited. Not the chair knocked down that big trifecta. That was a huge shot. NBA All-Star voting continues now. When your vote counts three times, cast your vote now using the Thunder Mobile app or go to OKCThunder.com slash vote, vote daily, vote Thunder. This is a battle-tested team. Oh, Shea almost had the steal. Instead, he picks up. But Tatum able to recover the possession, essentially. Now Shea's matched up on White. Bounces off of him, tough shot. And the tip-in by Lou Dort as he came in from the perimeter. The Celtics have put Tatum on SGA. Different from Pritchard or Derek White. Shea passes over to Holmgren. Holmgren loads up another three, and that one rattles in. Going up against record wise the best team in the NBA. Shea veers to his right. Shot is going to be short. Pritchard the rebound. Loose. Shea now matched up on White. Steps back for the three. SGA. No. Tatum the rebound. Left have to get the ball inbounded. Porzingis the one right on Josh Giddy. Giddy trying to get it in, does so to SGA, who immediately spins away from Brown, but is fouled in the to go get it. First one is going to make it a three-point game, and that's how big that call was. It from Porzingis' shot from a three to a two. If it was a three, it'd still be a one-possession game, and Boston still has a timeout. That's a good point. Excellent point. This changes everything for the Celtics now. A bit of foul on a three-point shot. Right. Brown, that'll do it. Don't commit the foul. The Thunder hold on and preserve the victory.